Hello everyone, welcome to the series of SPSS. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform Pearson's partial correlation coefficient in SPSS and its interpretation. You can find more videos on SPSS, RStudio, Econometrics, Statistics and Economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of partial correlation coefficient. Pearson's partial correlation coefficient is used to find the linear association between two variables by controlling the effect of other continuous variable. So here I have the data on marks, reading hours per day and attendance. You can see uh, the selected variables, marks, reading hours per day and attendance. So here we have marks, reading hours per day and attendance. Now, I want to find the association or I'm interested to know the association between marks and reading hours only by controlling the effect of attendance on, on, on the marks. So here we can use Pearson's partial correlation coefficient because we are interested to know the association between these two by controlling the effect of attendance. So what is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis says that there is no significant association between marks and reading hours per day controlling the effect of attendance. And alternative hypothesis says that, yes, we have the significant effect, significant association between marks and reading hours per day uh, controlling the uh, effect of attendance. So how to perform partial correlation in SPSS? So go to analyze. In analyze, you have the option of correlate and in correlate, you have the option of partial. Again, go to analyze, correlate, partial. You can see this dialog box. Now we want to find the association between reading between marks and reading hours. So select these two and move them to variables box. We want to control the effect of attendance. So select attendance and move it to the controlling for box. Go to options, select these two means and standard deviations and zero order correlations. Simply click on continue, click on OK. You can see result in the output window. So here we have descriptive statistics. And then we have the result. So see the first half of this result. Controlling variable is none. No variable uh, is controlled to generate the correlation coefficient. So this is bivariate correlation coefficient. And you see the bivariate correlation coefficient between marks out of uh, 100 and reading hours per day is 0 0.986. It is statistically significant because associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that yes, we have the uh, strong positive association between marks and reading hours. But if you control the effect of attendance, see here, then the value of coefficient reduces from 0.986 to 0.866. So this result is after controlling the effect of attendance on marks. So the value of partial correlation coefficient is 0 0.866. Associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. And therefore, we conclude that we have the strong positive association or strong positive correlation between marks and reading hours per day after controlling the effect of attendance. So this is the idea of Pearson's partial correlation coefficient. If you like this video, kindly comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.